honestly probably by the time this video goes up they probably will release a web page with patch notes and all that stuff but real quick we'll just cover what you need to know about the brand new fantasy royale mode this is like 4.0 uh honestly my favorite mode that PUBG's ever done besides obviously the regular PUBG. and this can be found on pc and console right now i think it's for a couple weeks like a week or two in the arcade mode and just go down oh it says 12 days 12 and a half days it'll still be up so about two weeks uh, fantasy royale mode unleash the magic and mayhem in this fantasy fueled battle royale and so you can go to arcade mode and you can play it there and since it's in arcade mode that should mean that we are earning uh contraband coupons which is cool but you won't be earning um stuff towards like your survivor pass so just kind of be aware of that now what is this mode it's 80 players tpp only squads and it's always on sunny erangel this mode is basically the way I can explain it is like an MMO, like an RPG fused with Battle Royale. So there's four different character types, as you can see on the bottom right. On the left is a hunter, there's a, a healer, there's a, a warrior, and then a mage. Those are the different classes. Depending on which one you, you choose, you have different abilities and weapons, etc. Uh, so you, ba you basically want to work as a team. You all want to choose one of each, but you can all be the same character if, if you want to do so. Um, you can do that if you want, but you're going to be at a disadvantage. So you really do want to have a healer. You want to have a warrior. Those are kind of like the front line people. Then you have the um, big explosive mage or the single target damage hunter kind of in the back lines. And so um, we'll, we'll play another game here. I'll play out the rest of the game and kind of talk my way through it. But that's basically the gist of it. So you choose your class. You're going to do some looting in the beginning. You're going to get these little colored gems. Those gems are, are linked to your specific character. So if you're the hunter, you want the gold gems. If you're the mage, you want the blue gems. Uh, if you're the warrior, you want the purple gems. And if you're the healer, you want the green gems. And so even if you're not playing that character, pick up all the gems that you see in your building. They don't take up any inventory space. Drop them for your teammates. They can then pick them up and use them to upgrade their character's abilities items weapons etc to make you stronger throughout the match so it's a really cool cheeky fun mode let's jump into another one uh we'll just team up with a random team and uh see how it goes you have the barbarian specializes in melee combat and a thirst for blood uh he has stats is high damage the fastest movement speed you can have high health no magical and low accuracy i guess they want to call that hunter the ranger they call him, my favorite has uh, max range, good um, physical damage. Although I think they took out the physical damage item in this mode. Low speed, so you, anybody can catch him. He can't run away. Low health and low magical potion abilities. The mage, the wizard, he has uh, high, high damage, high AOE damage. But he can kill himself with his AOE abilities uh, with the flare gun with the Molotov bomb um, and the meteor strike, which is really, really cool. And then you have the healer up close and personal. You got the freaking shield, the trash can shield. You got the big uh, stick that you can heal people with, heal your allies or hurt enemies. Very tanky, a lot of health, very, very cool character too. So uh, for this one, I, I really do want to be the Ranger again, but maybe let me see what my team's doing. So look in the bottom left, my team is being a mage. Okay, so they're not actually being a... Uh, let me choose a new class at F8. Ranger. Okay, so there it goes. Now we have one of each. Is my all chat fixed yet? Test, 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 test. Unmuted all. Test, test. No, it's not. Unfortunate. Okay, so we all have one of each character, which is going to be great for sharing the loot. Let's jump in see how we can do. It says uh, PC July 24th to August 7th. Console July 31st to August 14th. There you go, chat. There you go. So, you, so you're right. It is a uh, one week delayed or not delayed, but you know, one week difference uh, for console. So we are going to, you definitely want to land close to the circle. Number one, because the vehicles, there is a UAZ and the noble steed motorcycle. They are obviously on the map, but they're very slow. I'm honestly thinking we go milly, but if my team wants to go here, that's where I'll go. It's just not going to be a lot of loot here. And, um, like I was saying earlier, if you didn't catch last round, it's honestly really important to prioritize looting early, I feel, uh, unless you go straight for the crates. If you go straight for the crate drops, you get a ton of materials in the crates, but you need the materials to upgrade your uh, your weapon, your passive abilities. So like the hunter that I'm using, the ranger, 
his abilities, you can get more max HP uh, faster. You, or you get more max HP. You reload your... Uh, which of my doodles? Oh, someone just got removed due to undo. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, regenerate your uh, bolts faster. And the other one is buffing the actual damage of the crossbow. Now, what I found was odd is that last year when this mode was out, you could choose between the crossbow and a dagger. So this character actually had a dagger weapon option that you could use instead of the crossbow. So you were close range, but it was like an assassin, like really, really strong, did tons of damage. And they seem to have done away that white crystal, by the way, super important. They seem to have done away with that other weapon, which is uh unforge. They also have done away with the, his other item. What's the spike strip? The spike strip would stop enemies in their track, slow them down greatly and give you an opportunity to line up like a really good headshot, uh, especially with this character. And they don't have that anymore. So they've done a few changes from last one. I'm assuming just to kind of help balance the characters out. But I do miss that. I'm just thinking, I don't think I can, uh, I can get into here without a, a actual weapon, right? Like, can you open that up with a crossbow? <clears throat> Guess not. Once upon a time, the warriors battled an ancient dragon who destroyed cities for treasure to add his massive horde. With his dying breath, the dragon cursed his horde and cited a powerful greed upon anyone who brought to claim it or sought to claim it. The warriors turned on each other and fought over the treasures until one remained. To this day, an enchanted metal bird carries warriors to the dragon's isle to claim their piece of fortune. But first, they must survive each other. Cool. Very cool. Speaking of dragons, you guys been uh, watching House of Dragons? Uh, Poon, ironically enough, if you guys um, are on Twitter, PUBG tweeted out today that they are working on a fix with the in-game chat bug for PUBG. So lo and behold, I might not be a Looney Tune after all, and it was a PUBG bug that broke a lot of people's in-game chats. It does not seem like mine's been fixed though. So again, I'm just gonna be picking up all these items. So this guy needs green. You pick up, pick up all your teammates stuff and then you just share whatever you want. And then the reason why these white ones are so important is they're rare and he's going to go in there. They're rare and you need them to get your uh, thing leveled up to level five, no matter which one you go with. <clears throat> so that's why they're really important. And the loot drops always have the white crystals in them. Okay, they loot this. Perfect. All right. So my teammates are doing good. They're, you know, all meeting up to drop their stuff. So this guy needs boom, boom. Okay. And then we need to go meet up with our guy over here and give him his uh, purples. This is exactly what we want to do. So I'm going to uh, rank up, again, my crossbow damage. I want to have damage, damage, damage. So I get no footstep sounds. I'm going glass cannon, as we say in the uh, smite world. Glass cannon. I want a high damage output. I don't care about all this other health and whatnot. Although the reload speed is actually really important too, but we'll get that later, okay? I want to get max damage. That when I hit somebody with a critical hit. Oh, look, someone, y'all ain't looting my stuff. Who left that for me? So when I uh, hit a critical headshot, it's going to take them out. Easy peasy. Okay, we're looting more stuff together. Uh, we're going to have to go down the bridge. We might legitimately have a bridge camp game. So you need that and that. We legitimately might have a, the first ever fantasy royale bridge camp, bridge camp game. Um, do I want reload speed or do I want regeneration of bolts? I think I want reload speed. Oh my god. Then I'm gonna do regeneration of bolts. Kind of do these one by one, I believe. I only have five bandages though. I don't wonder if my team has a ton extra. So we do have a healer on our team, which is nice. Um, as long as they are, you know, looking forward to doing their healing job, that's gonna be good. There we go. We got our first battle. We killed somebody. He needs to go heal. Oh, 110. Great hit. Boom. Boom. Oh, reload. Oh, he's about to get bombed. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. No, move. Oh. Boom. 
All right, you gotta loot them. Wait, where's the bodies? Oh, he already looted them. Okay. Yeah, you loot the bodies to get their crystals if they haven't used them. Mm hmm. Nice job of my team there. Let's rock and roll, boys. Kind of the first ever bridge camp fantasy royale. Yeah, really cheeky mode, really fun, especially if you get a little crew together. It's not too, too sweaty, you know, pretty casual. You can just kind of hang out, relax, have a good time. And uh, me personally, I play a lot of Smite. I know a lot of you guys who watch the channel know that already, but Smite is like a MOBA. Um, and so you have, you know, different classes, uh, purple, you, know, you have different classes. Um, you have mages, you have warriors, hunters, blah, blah, blah. So it's very much like one of those games. Uh, just in PUBG, which is always cheeky fun. It's like right now, what my um, other teammates should be doing is they should be dropping us healing items. So, oh, they're getting a fight. We gotta go. Um, that guy, the healer, he generates first aid kits as one of his passives. So he could be dropping those on the ground for us periodically that we can pick him up. And he'll keep regenerating them. And then same thing. Uh, okay, we don't want to go fight in this blue zone, do we? But I'm coming. Oh, they have a vehicle. So we need we need our mage on him. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to hit that. Yeah, we just got to go for the zone. We're just chunking. For no reason here. Oh my god, the circle's across the map. We literally have to go. Dude, that's unfortunate. It was all right here, and then it pulled all the way to the right bridge. And we don't have a stinking vehicle. That's unlucky. So, um, yeah, so the hunter or the warrior can drop these energy drinks for us, and the guardian guy can drop the first aids for the team. And then they they keep regenerating those. Maybe if I tell my team I need healing, need med, if I tell them that. Yeah, like, like need, need well, yeah, thank you. But can you also drop me a first aid? Dang, I don't know if he knows he can drop it. Like, you can drop those. Hey, can you... Yeah, no, I don't think they know. Uh, let me see if uh, boost spawn on the uh, bridges still for this mode. I don't think so. Yeah, so when, when you play this, you need to definitely be doing that. If you're a warrior, be dropping your energy drinks for your teammates because you'll keep, like I said, replenishing them. And if you are a guardian, keep dropping your first aids or early because you will keep replenishing them, replenishing them throughout the match. There's a good good thing and a bad thing about this. The good thing is that everybody else is getting there fighting them. But all your teams are going to be fighting and dying. That's good. We can maybe come in in third party, but bad because those teams will also, oh, look, a vehicle right here. But bad because those teams are probably going to be even more looted up with um the ranked up items and stuff, you know? Hmm. Three loot drops too. The Dragon Slayer. A couple guys just died of the play zone. Look at that. I'm actually gonna try to save my bandages because this guy can heal us. He's already healing the uh, the warrior. Wait. We need healing. Please. Yes, perfect. Oh yeah, look at that healing. Oh yeah. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. All right, let's go. That's great. Oh, Jesus. That's squished. <clears throat> oh, this hasn't been hit yet. Come on. Let's go. So you see this one is like still lit up. See that loot drop is still lit up. That means it hasn't been hit yet. So these are grayed out. That means they've been hit. This one should be should be free for us to go and get. Oops. Oh, someone just got it. Are you kidding me? Oh, dude. My teammate wouldn't have kept looting. We could have got it or caught these guys at the crate. Dang, that sucks. 
That guy was looting that one building for too long. We should just went. We could have freaking snuck up and got that team dead. But just two of them there. We could have just dominated them, got all that extra loot. Um, you know, we have redeployable parachutes on this mode. You know what I'm thinking? We get all the way up top and parachute down onto our enemies. That actually sounds fun. Whoa. Motorcycle. Oh, this is them. Are there teammates up here? If not, they're in trouble. We, we might be running into a trap though. That guy needs to save his freaking flares. What's he doing? Oh, I knocked him out one shot. Nice. Dude, that's awesome. Oh. Hey, heal me up, baby. Heal me up. Heal me up. Hey, hey, need, need med. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's perfect. Oh, and there's another team up here. Like a whole different team. Oh! <laughs> oh, no! He go! Damn! Dude, that dude went flying! Sheesh. All right. Wait, someone up here? What's that? I thought I heard a footstep or something. Uh, how many do I need? They dropping. We got extra white one. Ah, oh, they had a couple extra white ones. Do I need that? I only need two. But I still need my um, see my my gold ones to finish ranking my my guy up. Oh, we got to go back down. Damn. What's up, bro? Any more golds up here? No. Dang. Okay. All right, yippee ki yay. So you only need three whites, one for that one, one for that one, and one for that one. There's no point in hoarding the other ones. You just let your teammates have the others. All right, so trying to get some scope on what's going on here. Looks like they're all right here on green. So I think if we actually take here, we go to that, that compound. Oh, that guy just fell straight down. Yay! We should be able to float right into the rooftop of that building, man. Like easy peasy. Honestly, the bridge is kind of in. Maybe I don't risk it. You don't really want to get too far away from the team. Oh, look, look, go little things too. I need those. Boom. They're still not enough. Oh, I was out of freaking shots. So he's about to call us. Oh, it's the enemy. That was my guy. Oh, gosh. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Where is he? Huh? Oh. Huh? Oh. No. Oh, sorry, buddy. No, I whiffed. Dang, I had that guy dead. Yay. 183 headshot, baby. See ya. There's only two left. Guy above me, and where's the other? I'll go up there. I need my teammates to go up there with me. Yay! Okay, I just hit him. It stunned him. Where'd he go? He jump off? He must have jumped off. Oh, 
Oh, there he is. Nice. There's one up, one up. One enemy remaining. I don't need any of that. I still don't even have my thing freaking maxed out rank too. I should go hit that loot drop. That's something good to do. Investment hit. Oh. It'll get away from that. I don't know if that's my teammate throwing that or the enemy. Boom. All right, this other guy might be just lurking, waiting to pounce. So we got to be careful. He's a solo, right? So he's going to be chilling. Probably in one of these buildings. You just don't know what kind of character he is. Is it a warrior? A mage? Is it a hunter? Can he one shot me? Oh, it's just a freaking white one. He might've looted this already. Do you see him? See what that hit? I think that hit him. No? Match finished. Oh, we found him. I didn't even see him fighting. GG. We won. Winner, winner, chicken, legendary dinner. Wow. Tell me why the windscreen on this limited time mode is cooler than the main mode in PUBG for the past seven years. What the hell is that about? But uh, in the words of the wise wiz wiz wisdom dragon thing, let's crouch. All right, very good. So rank one, four kills. We got 273 AP, which is arcade points. Those will go towards our contraband coupons that you can accumulate uh, for free just by playing the arcade mode uh daily every week so very cool um i liked it that was a fun mode it, it was what i remembered it being last year i am a little salty about them taking out like the the spike strip thing i thought that was really cool for the hunter but i guess maybe it was a little bit op uh but speaking of rewards so we just got two creator code sedum contraband coupons simply by playing the arcade mode and you can do that uh up to 10 coupons per week 10 coupons per week you can get for free just by playing the mode and there are limited time fantasy royale skins that you can acquire so number one is reach top 10 as a ranger that was our character you get the beer hat um koozie hat thing the guy this the thing this guy's wearing you basically get his outfit uh, reach top 10 as a barbarian you actually get the muscle shirt now this is a, a brand new one this one's called the beach bum sweatshirt it's like the muscle suit that i wear but it it doesn't have like the tattoos and all that kind of stuff so this one is a just different version of that which i think is still cool because a lot of people are looking for those and they they ask me a lot where can i get that it's limited time you can get it again now reach top 10 as a wizard you get these cool uh pants looks like something roly poly would wear shout outs roly reach top 10 as a paladin you get some sandals with uh socks you get socks and sandals then the other challenges are uh what do we have survive for 10 minutes travel a thousand meters kill one player with a level five dragon slayer that's the uh crossbow leveled up to level five get one kill with a level five sword get one kill with a level five wand and heal 300 hp across your team using heal bombs all of those things that you do and complete you'll get points then you can use those points to claim uh workshop chests a blue can man spray and then 30 creator code sedum contraband coupons that you can then go and use in the hide out and get uh get a grip or get a skin or whatever so neat what do you guys think of the mode thumbs up thumbs down haven't tried it yet can't wait to try it i'm gonna i'm gonna jump back in another one i want to play as a different character and get those missions done i'm excited